sort of a recharge, but to me it's also a reconnect. Because I work out at a gym and that's pretty much mindless. I just sit on a machine for 20 minutes and I can, I can watch TV, I can read. But when I do yoga, my mind and my body interact together. My mind says, you have to do this precisely and specifically. So when I leave here, I sort of carry that with me the rest of the day, that, that my mind knows what I'm, what I'm doing, my body's sort of communicating back and forth, and that's what I really like about you. Um, it's really about Satyam and how fortunate I feel to have him down in South County because we don't have a lot of resources down here, and um, it just feels like a real blessing because he knows so much about what he's doing, and he's such a gentle, kind, sensitive person. He's always watching us in class and making sure we're doing things the right way, but I guess if anyone who lived in South County would realize, and I know he goes all over, you know, and Rundle and into Baltimore to teach classes and even to teach private lessons, but I just feel like the best thing about this class is the fact that we have him down here. He's a real treasure. And um, as a busy mom and someone who is a, a who is a social worker, so I take care of people in my job, you know, every day. That this is the first exercise I've ever had that feels like I'm doing something for me, and that it's real nurturing. Because I'm not the kind of person that wants to do 20 repetitions of weights in a gym. And it, you know, like other people have said before me, it's centering. It's the whole body. It's the whole mind and, and spirit, as well as a real physical workout. But it literally feels like for the first time ever. I'm 49 years old, you know that this exercise is something I'm doing to really treat myself and keep myself healthy. Um, I wanted to um, say that I started yoga when I hit 50. It was sort of a midlife decision and I'm now 57 and it has astonished me that at my age when so many things start to sort of creep up and go wrong that this is something that I've improved in um, over the last seven years and it's just been so encouraging. And I'm also astounded at how fairly simple physical movements lead to so much um, peace in terms of spirit and mind. It just is so miraculous. I wanted to say that uh, my wife Jane and I have found yoga and the practice of Satyam to be a more enlightened uh, aspect, a more enlightened approach to fitness. I'm a physical education teacher myself and find that uh, while other fitness programs target body or areas of the body, uh, yoga targets the entire being. And as such, you find yourself truly fulfilled through the body, through spirit, through the mind. And uh, it's a great workout. It's an absolutely tremendous workout. I um, started coming to an introductory yoga class. Uh, I'm a carpenter by trade and um, typically have a lot of back, uh, lower back problems and uh, tight hamstrings. Um, so I came on a Wednesday night class and uh, found it really helped me stretch out uh, so I'd be more comfortable working the, the rest of the week. Um, but the thing that caught me by surprise was the, um, I guess the mental part, the uh, hour of concentration um, that it took to concentrate on your, your form and poses. Um, Somehow that focus emptied your mind of things that drain you, uh, regular day-to-day -day stuff that fill your mind that become kind of draining. So in that respect, uh, um, drew me, I guess, even more uh, once I realized that to uh, keep coming back.